Hey guys, it's Ashley and I am back to do my favorite brushes. It is kind of a gloomy day out again, so I'm going to try to film this before the sun goes down. So I'm just going to jump right into it. I've set them, I, I've set the brushes aside according to the brand. So I think I'm just going to do, do it by brand. So I might be jumping all over the place, so just try to stay with me. So the first thing I want to mention is my Sephora little makeup kit here. Actually, when you open it up, it looks like this. And it's for like to travel with. And like this compartment says toiletries, brushes here. And then this one says jewelry and makeup. Well, as you can see, I have just all of my brushes in here. Um, brushes here and then lip stuff eyeliner and my sharpeners here like my lip liners and um, eyeliners sharpeners no lipsticks in there and then some more brushes down here um, so I just use this for my sponge for my makeup brushes um, because I usually keep all my makeup in like this big caboodle kit um, I'm looking at it it's over there so this is what I keep my brushes in, and this is from Sephora. I cannot remember how much this was. I want to say it was like $34, $36, maybe $38. Um, and I got this a few months ago. So the first brushes that I actually want to talk about are my Sigma brushes. And this is actually Jaclyn Hill's brush set. I'm not sure if this is still online. I know the first round when she first released this, it sold out immediately. And so when I saw it and I heard that she was going to be releasing it, I jumped on the bandwagon because I knew it was going to sell out. And of course it did. So then I think she released it a second time. And I'm not sure if she still has the brush set on the website. Um, but you can still buy these brushes separately too if the kit isn't available. So the first brush I want to talk about is the Sigma Flat Kabuki F80. And this brush is perfect for putting your foundation on. It's it's so soft and it's stiff but not too stiff. So it just it blends the foundation perfectly. The next brush is the Tapered Kabuki F86. And some of these brushes are dirty because I used some of these today to get it ready. Um, and this one, I think it's meant for highlighting, I believe, but I actually use it like the way Jaclyn Hill does. She uses it to set her under eye concealer and it's absolutely perfect for that. I love this to set, um, not to set my under eye concealer, to actually put my concealer on with. And then what I use to set my concealer is the tapered highlighter, the F35. And this is meant to do highlighting on your cheekbones, which I haven't used that this brush for that, but I think it would be perfect for it. But I actually put it into my um, powder and I set my under eye concealer with it and it's, it's perfect and it's so soft. Super soft. Okay, the next brushes from Sigma are the eyeshadow brushes. And this one is the pencil brush and it's the E30. Most of you guys have probably already seen all of these brushes. They're all over YouTube and they're just fantastic. This brush is perfect for your um, under, to blend your under eye liner or to put shadow under your eye. Um, that's what I use it for when I do wear eyeshadow underneath there. Or you could even use it for like a super detailed crease brush or like for your outer V. This brush is one of my favorite brushes. It's the eye shading brush E55. This brush is perfect to pack the color onto your lid. I am obsessed with this brush. I think I might actually order some more of these um, because they're just, it's so perfect to just pack on the color onto your lid. And then this one is the Tapered Blending E40. And this one is perfect to put color into your crease as your transition color or to just 
blend out your eyeshadow. It's really fluffy and it's just, uh, it's, their brushes, Sigma brushes are so soft. They're, they're really good quality. And then this brush came with the kit also. It's the Blending E25. And you can use this brush to do your crease. Or I like to do it like just on the outer edge of your um, your eye just to add some color um, like in your outer V area I guess and it's it's perfect for that I haven't used it for like actual crease work I've just used it for the out, outer edge of my eye so those are all the Sigma brushes that I have and I absolutely love them I should have probably bought two of those kits um, the next brushes I want to talk about are my Real Techniques brushes. I think I have more than this, but these are like my absolute favorites that I use every single, almost every single day. Okay, the first brush is this one, and this one is the powder brush. And Real Techniques, Real Techniques brushes are great quality for the price. You can find these um, online or at your Ulta or Ulta online also. And they are so, so soft. And this brush is like huge. And so when I first bought it, I was like, how am I going to use this brush? But I just put it into my powder and I just tap it all over my face. It's, oh, this brush is amazing. I love it. The next one I use is the Expert Face Brush. And I use this for my foundation. And it's really stiff. I think it's, I want to say it might be even more... Hmm. It's more dense than the um, Sigma Flat Kabuki F80. But I use this all the time for my foundation. And I use it the same way as I do my Sigma foundation brush. I put my foundation on the back of my hand, I dip it in, and I just stipple it on, and then like I go in circular motions, and it just buffs the foundation out beautifully. I love this brush. Okay, I use this brush from Real Techniques. It's the contour brush. And it's really soft. And I use this one to put my contour right into the hollows of my cheeks. And then I usually use like another brush just to like blend it out. But this is this is perfect for contouring with. And then I have the Deluxe Crease Brush. And this is perfect to put color into your crease or to like even blend out the crease color a little bit and then this one is the domed shadow brush and these are so soft oh I just love the soft brushes they're perfect and this is great to actually put color into your crease or to even pat like pat color onto your lid like pack it on and then I use this brush. It's called the Base Shadow Brush. It looks like that. And I used to use this to put color onto my lid, but I actually like using this for my crease or to, for my transition color. All right. For my blush brush, I have been using the Eco Tools um, Tapered Blush Brush. And it's actually dirty because I used it today. I'm sorry. But it's, it's nice. It's nice and soft and tapered so you can just put put it in like say this was your compact you put it in and you just like bounce it right onto your cheek bones and it's just it applies blush beautifully I love this brush okay and then I have two I believe these are Mary Kay brushes and I've had them forever probably over 10 years and like they're still grow going strong so they're really good quality first is the eye definer brush and this one's perfect for applying shadow to your lid. And then this one is the eye crease brush. And just like it says, it's perfect to add color into your crease or for a transition um, color or to even blend out your eyeshadow. And then I have three more brushes. I have this brush. I believe it's from Sonia Kashuk, I want to say. Um, it's just for my eyebrows. It has an eyebrow side and then for your eyelashes. And this is what I use to comb my eyebrows um, into their shape. And then I use the eye mascara side to comb through my lashes. And then I have this, 
I have no idea. I know this is a Smashbox brush. It came in a kit quite a few years ago. Um, and I have used it ever since. I've had this for so long. And I believe it's like an eyeliner brush. But I actually use this to fill in my eyebrows. And, it, and it's nice and stiff. And it like it works perfectly. I, I have, this is the, the only brush I use to fill my eyebrows in with. And then my last brush is from Laura Geller. And it came with their eye rims. Um, what's it called? The It's like a powder, but it's it's an eyeliner. You can get it wet and you can use it as an eyeliner. But I actually use this little tiny brush for my NYX or NYX um, gel eyeliner. And it's perfect. I just dip it into the little pot and it just creates like the perfect line. I love this brush. Okay, guys. So here's all of my favorite brushes. I do have more brushes that I, I use. But um, these are my favorites and ones that I usually always reach for when I'm doing my makeup. So that's it for my brushes. Um, I'm hoping to film the Beauty Fairy Tag this week. Maybe I might actually try to film that tomorrow and maybe get it up tomorrow or later in the week. Um, I'm hoping for good weather. It is so gloomy and dreary out. It was actually sprinkling on my way home from work. And I was like, no, please, please don't rain. I have to film a video. So um, I'm hoping to get this up today, which is Monday. And stay tuned for um, my beauty fairy tag. And please like and subscribe. And comment below if you guys have any suggestions on some videos that I can do. I would like to do a tutorial, but it seems like I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it on using the webcam, but um, any suggestions, I'm open to them, so please leave them down in the comment sections below, and until later, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.